Hey, what's going on everybody? I am back once again with another movie review. And of course this is going to be another Disney review. Um, this is another stop motion animation film and is one of my all time favorites. Um, it doesn't get the same exposure as The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, at times I feel like it's a film that not everybody talks about and definitely deserves to be talked about and I do want to see this film get a 4k release I feel like you know some of the animation movie films out there especially stop-motion would look absolutely amazing in 4k um, just the detail would look so uh, it would look really nice um, but before we get started I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of my coffee uh, it is early morning where I'm at uh, not too early I think it's around like 7 30 to 8 o'clock but um figured you know take a sip of my coffee and this nice Captain America cup America fuck yeah and you gotta love South Park or Team America, um, but I'm going to be reviewing Disney's James and the Giant, uh, uh, James and the Giant Peach. Um, yeah, such a great classic film, very underrated in my opinion. Again, when you when you look at Disney's catalog, especially like the stop motion films, uh, the, the the Nightmare Before Christmas is up there, but James and the Giant Peach is kind of down below. It doesn't get talked about uh, often and definitely deserves a better special treatment hopefully a 4k release this is definitely one i would like to see the criterion collection pick up but the plot so you have james you know he's just a young kid and uh you know uh it just doesn't get doesn't get in trouble or anything like that you know he just kind of takes the he does the simple things um but his parents tragically pass away and he is pretty much um, orphaned to his aunts who are like really over the top um, and just, you know, treat him like garbage. And one day he comes across this man who just kind of shows up out of nowhere, gives him the seeds to basically... Um, grow this giant peach uh it starts to because the, the his ants start to uh see how big this thing is and try to use it as like a uh, tourist attraction so james eventually climbs inside meets these interesting characters like you got like a spider a centipede and, and things like that and uh and uh you have um a grasshopper, a worm, a spider, and a few other characters, but they're they're all really great characters. But basically, they travel to New York. Um, and when one thing I do like about this movie is there's there's a scene where James is climbing inside of the peach, and it's just you don't see it, but you kind of see like the shadow of his head turning into a claymation head, which I thought was pretty cool. He bas it basically goes from like live action to claymation, which I thought was really really good and it blended really well now it is directed by henry uh Selleck, who also directed the nightmare before christmas um excuse me i'm not sure who else is in this um it doesn't say i wish disney would start putting like the actor and actresses names in here but uh um, but I know a few of the actor and actresses in this film are no longer with us. They've all passed on. But uh, it can't, But it, all in all, it's still a great film. Um, but I wish they would have done like a sequel. I think they could have done something, you know, a continuation of this. Um, I'm trying to see when this was released. Uh, what year? I don't think Disney puts their years yeah, it doesn't look like it, but I do believe it came out like maybe to mid to late 90s. I think it might be like a 95 or so. I could be wrong. It could have been like late 90s, but I don't think it was late 90s. I think it was uh, earlier than that, but uh, Tim Burton does produce this film as well, so... I really wish I could say more about this movie that hasn't been said, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen this movie. 
Um, but between this and The Nightmare Before Christmas, they have been two of my favorite Disney films. Uh, I would say they're both on my top 10 favorite Disney films of all time. And uh, I'm glad to have both in my collection. So uh, if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend checking it out. So with that being said, that's my review for James and the Giant Peach. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this film. If you've seen it, give this video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, it's much appreciated. And until then, guys, take care. Uh, remember... Uh, until next time, we will talk about films, and of course, I am Film Talk with Mikey, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.